Hello oh, YouTube, Dumbo 1984. Just a little show you what I've been getting up to the last couple of couple of weeks. Obviously I haven't made many videos of late. I've been very busy. Obviously current events going on in the world and whatnot kind of spurs on what I do. So I'll just run you through what I've been well, what I've done so far anyway. Right, as you can see, yeah. Got a new vest. British Army DPM, however, it's not one I'm gonna have seen before because I've made the cover for it myself. Same as with this one here. Long story short, take a look over here. I've got a box of old surplus police Kevlar panels. As you can see, the box is absolutely full. There's enough in there, matching sets, to make another 12 sets of body armour. These are the first two. Obviously, this is the material I'm using, British Army Woodland DPM. Getting that shit off of eBay. A couple of metres at a time. Like I say, I've made two so far. This one, if you're familiar with the British Army ECBA armour, you can actually see that these straps are actually salvaged from one of those. An old cover, ripped up, no good, no armour. Took the straps off it, used, repurposed the Velcro. Same again, well, this one, sorry, I didn't use any parts of any other vest. This is all entirely handmade. Obviously, made me flaps as you can see. Fits over. Shoulder straps are identical on both of them. Reason being, that used to be a belt that I chopped up. And I could only really do for these two vests because these two these two panel sets, sorry, ex police ones, but a lot new after 2003 and the Merla panels, and obviously different size panels, different shape panels. So both of these vests are what I would call custom. Yeah, the box over here, like I says, I've got about 12 sets to put together here, and there's basically three different patterns. So a lot of these will be repeated. Hence the reason these ones are prototype, like I say, these ones, once these are made up, they will all be made to the exact same spec pattern or all that sort of good shit. Okay, what else have I done? Now my last video, if you remember, or if you watched it, you'll see that I'd made some sappy plates. That's a stack of them over there. And I believe I showed you what I was started on making some actual Kevlar ones and here they are finished one moment bye sorry about that people coming and going as you do so yeah like I say these are the sappy plates I've made again myself got a full curve multi curve very comfortable and the way I've made these, really quite simple. Take a surplus panel. As you can see here, the panels I've used for these, obviously, I've got no rear panels for, so I'll be making sappy plates of these. Level 3A panels, cutting them out, cutting them to the right shape, using fiberglass resin, bonding them to make a solid plate, and then what I'm using here are marble tiles. I think I'm about to be interrupted, YouTube. But yeah, using marble tiles on the top. As you can see, that is essentially how this plate was put together. So it's a combination of actual Kevlar, 22 layers, Kevlar 29 ballistic, and 8mm thick marble tile. Obviously, I haven't used porcelain or any shit like that, I've used actual marble. Granite would work just fine as well, but I'd use marble. And that's basically that. That's what I've been getting up to. Like I say, making, making armour, playing with plates. Oh, one more thing. New purchase. Beeman P17. 177. Single stroke pneumatic pistol. About one and a half to two foot pound in power and probably go close to one and a half however I find it's very accurate doesn't have much power 
but I'm getting a group of, a, well, smaller than a five pence piece at 15 feet, free, free standing, no support, so the pistol is fucking bob on, I can't, can't dispute that. Very accurate pistol, very comfortable to hold, just sadly a little bit underpowered. However, it's not a hunting pistol, just for shooting paper targets, so for that purpose, fucking ideal. Well, that's it for me anyway, Tumbo1984. Just wanted to give you a quick little update, what I've been getting up to in the war room. As you can see, as ever, very busy, bit of a mess now. Obviously, been doing a lot of shit in here. It is a working room as well as a storeroom, as you've probably noticed. Anyway, like I say, that's it for me, Tumbo1984. Enjoy your weekend, peace.